our economy is very, very fragile, my friends. Very fragile. I'm telling you, man, the more you dive into it, the more you recognize only by the skin of our teeth are we still operating. It's got to be divine. I don't know. But uh, so I just got back from the Fulton County water treatment plant tour I did here in uh, Johns Creek. A great time. Uh, there's a lot of great information. Would have wished I could ask more questions. But that's okay. It's very, very interesting. A couple things jumped out at me first and foremost the amount of energy used uh, to clear, to clean the water. So basically, what happens here in Fulton County is we take the water from the Chattahoochee, we pump it into these reservoirs essentially. These reservoirs are elevated, so we got to take it and pump it up. You know, you, it doesn't go on its own. You, you know, gravity. You know, that, uh, that magnetic force in the center of the earth, as some guy actually said, as you get closer to the magnetic force, the gravity weakens. I said, okay, okay. Anyway, so no one knows nothing about this, but we do know that you need to pump up the water because it can't just go up on its own. Anyway, long story, I know, I know there are examples of that happening. It's just, this isn't happening here. So you got to pump up the water. How does that, that takes electricity, a pump, a pumping station, which takes electricity to do. It sits up in his reservoir. We're talking, I think he said, 60 billion gallons of water. And then they, uh, they, they drop it down into the various cleaning mechanisms that, uh, that they pump through. They add all this uh, phosphate is one of the chemicals they put in there, which is a part of uh, phosphorus of memory serves, which is part of the NPK, nitrogen, uh, potassium, phosphorus for what you use on your garden, 13, 13, 13 and whatnot. And not, none of these are cheap anymore. This is going through the roof price-wise. In fact, I just looked before I did this video, and phosphorus is going up by double in the last year. Crazy. And that's after coming down about 20% in the last uh, couple of months. Anyway, so we got, we need, oh yeah, what does phosphorus do, by the way, phosphate? We don't, it doesn't help clean the, the uh, water. It just keeps the, the pipes from corroding, but we're still going to have that in our water supply. <laughs> Then you got to get the fluoride because we got to keep our teeth strong, which is exactly what they say in their brochure. Keep your teeth strong. Well, I don't want your stuff. No, you can't. It sucks to be you. Anyway, but it's, it's just tons of different things going on here. I mean, just so many pumps, so much electricity, so much moving of water from point A to point B to point C. Check this. It's crazy. So check this. I want to share with you this. Um, where was it? Uh, one sec. I'm trying to find the exact amount, this is the Department of Interior, of um, how much electricity is used in a typical water for uh, treatment plant. I didn't look that hard. I probably spent 30 minutes looking, but uh, I want to show you this. It's crazy. Waste water treatment plant is an energy intensive industry. I'm not uh, sure why they say is the, and it, I, this must be a guy, that's, yeah, so I'm not sure his English is his first language. Collecting, treating, and discharging wastewater to acceptable permit standards needs a large amount of energy. It includes three stages. Physical treatment is used to remove the suspended solids and other impurities. Around 25% of energy is consumed to drive the influent pumps and aerated grit chamber. More than 90% of chemical oxygen and 20% of nitrogen in wastewater is removed. Isn't that crazy? Only a small amount of energy is actually using for pumping the water, though. About 60 to 70% of energy is used of the entire wastewater plant is using a biological treatment, it's crazy. And I was trying to see if they gave a gauge of how much it was and I couldn't find that. So I went over here and this is electricity used, this is from a long time ago, 1991. Electricity used in small wastewater plants. I'm sure people say, oh, it's much more efficient now. Is it? And I'll share with you why it might not be. Uh, right here, we had a uh, unit energy consumption uh, at the facilities range from 0.39 to 1.17 kilowatt hours for every meter cubed of wastewater treated that's a lot of flipping electricity man one basically we'll just round up and say 0.75 kilowatt hours for every meter cubed of wastewater treated um <laughs> and from 3.7 to 7.2 kilowatt hours uh, for every BOD, I forgot what that was. Uh, they had it on here someplace. I, I, I don't care. I just, I'm saying that's a lot of flipping water, a lot of electricity. Then I saw this one right here. Um, and, and here's in 2008. And this is from uh, Peak Energy and Resources Climate Change. Oh, we're all going to die. Energy skeptic. There we go. In 2008, municipal wastewater treatments in the United States use approximately 30.2 billion kilowatt hours per year. Around 8% or 0.8% of total electricity in the United States. That's in 2008. Billion kilowatt hours per year. 
These wastewater treatment plants have become large energy consumers, and they require approximately 23% of the public energy use of a municipality. Did you hear that? So they're using, we got weight of, uh, remember, 0.8% of total electricity, but electricity is a component of energy because electricity is just one subset of it. The entire energy is what we use here. Uh, and, and municipal uh, palaces can uh, can require approximately 23% of public energy use. That is crazy. Um, desalination consumes 3% of annual electricity consumption in the United States. Future project. Right, I want to point right here. In California, agricultural groundwater and surface water pumping is responsible for approximately 60% of the total peak day electrical demand to the water supply. And don't forget, California is a desert. Why are we doing this? I don't. The water-related electrical consumption for the state of California is approximately 52,000 gigawatt hours. Electricity used for pumping is approximately 20,000 20, gigawatt hours, which is 8% of California's total electricity use. The remaining is consumed at the customer end for heat, pressure movement, uh, pressurized move, pressurized move, and cool water. Let's put it this way. That's a lot of electricity. As global oil production declines, again, 2008, clown show, it didn't. And there isn't enough energy to run civilization as we know it now. There is. Hard choices will be to be made. First in line is agriculture, which consumes about 15 to 20 percent of energy in the U.S. I don't have any qualm with that. I mean, 100 percent. I agree with that. But my goodness, my friends, how much energy is used in a water treatment plant? So I want to show this other one here, too. Energy consumption of wastewater treatment plants. And these guys are from Germany, I think. But anyway, so it's going to be the same thing, roughly. But specific power consumption of state-of-the-art wastewater treatment plants should be between 20 and 45 kilowatt hours per population equivalent. So basically for every person, every head is going to be used 20 to uh, 45 kilowatt hours. Again, a significant amount of electricity, never mind overall energy use. And then you guys still get that, get a haul the uh the phosphate you gotta haul the fluoride you gotta i mean it's crazy man you gotta, you gotta manufacture the pumps run the pumps it's all water and you know what happens is and where i went there they thought about using diesel generators to run the thing and then they looked at the cost of natural gas relative to pumping it. they got a couple of substations up here on two sides of it and i said hey what you know what are those for and we got talking so they thought about just running it all off diesel generators. No, not efficient at all. They're running off substations, which how do they make the electricity? Oh, natural gas. <laughs> you think solar panel? I mean, literally, how idiotic do you have to be to think solar panels are going to do this? It's freaking nuts, dudes. It's insanity, man. You want clean water, you better have an energy source. And if you don't have an energy source other than solar panels and, and freaking wind, you're, you're crazy, man. That's all there is to it. Or, I mean, or you just go back to the, the 1800s of England where people were dying and many, many people because of, uh, what's it called, dysentery or something like that? In fact, did you hear the story about the Indian guy, a governor in India, who drank some water from some famous river up there? And he said, ah, no problem. He drank it and he was in the hospital two days later. I, I heard he might have died, actually. Clean water is a big deal, my friend. Now, I can't stand the fluoride. I don't know what the hell's up with the phosphate stuff. I, mean, I get why they're doing that. Is that good for us? I don't know. I can almost assure you no one knows when they combine fluoride, phosphate. Well, else they use bleach, a crap load of bleach they put in there, which is a, what, sodium chloride or something. I can't really call it. Sodium chloride, something like that. There's so much energy that goes into things. Oh, by the way, the Fulton County one was built 30 years ago with equipment from 40 years ago, just as an FYI. So the efficiency of the devices that are in there are 40 years old, man. You know what I'm saying? And the plant itself is 30 years old. And he's talking about Atlanta. It's like 1920s and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, they've updated some of the technologies and everything. But I'm telling you, man, you think it's going to be cheap to – we're they're getting ready to do a $100 million project in which to upgrade the ones we have here in Alfreda, Johns Creek, same thing. And I was like, you know, where's that money coming from? Bonds? And he didn't know. And I – dude, I'm just telling you, man, these older cities in particular are going to have to upgrade their facilities. It's going to cost you more and more to live these places, man. Woo! Anyway, uh, it's a fragile economy. You mess with the energy, you're messing with it a lot. You're actually messing with clean water. You don't have clean water, I'll just pack it in because your days are numbered. All right, love your thoughts. We'll see you.